Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, look who's back. About the, time. To it is I. Got the team back together. Yeah, buddies. Ooh, yeah. Also, if you Ooh. haven't noticed now we yet. Now to go back to having not so good design conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> you mean having great conversations with a wonderful conversationalist? Yes. Of course, of yes. course. Then you'd be correct. Anyway. <laughs> we are so grateful for your help keeping the victims nourished. Your husband said he would watch over them a while longer. Is he saying that's a saray? Uh, I think he's talking to this lady. <laughs> oh, I was looking for I like, this. I saw I, I like saw the, the little idea. excitement mark on the map, and I was like, uh, Is that a turtles? It is a turtles. I like the idea of that guy just being totally nuts. Be like, we're so thankful for your husband. And Saray's like, <laughs> okay, uh, anyway. Do you want to do your, uh... <laughs> Seems like it's incredible sightings. He must be close as his by. Oh yeah, I made a new maps. The map cost you. <laughs> Thanks for the business. Now I continue on my journeys. <laughs> so uh, after talking to turtles is hard. <laughs> after talking to Covert, we are both pretty convinced that they're just like ten-year-old kids in turtle outfits. Yeah, I think they're like a ten-year-old gang. Like, not even just, like, a weird seraphim thing, just like... Respect the turtles! No, that's just it. I think that's what it is. It's like, we the motherfucking turtles! We're gonna show you, biatch! Out of Somebody's gonna walk up and make a joke, like, hey, is your name Leonardo? <laughs> like a Stabs that guy. <laughs> anybody, anybody else got a joke they want to make? Oh, I think this is dead. Is well, yeah. that a dead one? You made it safely. Oh, thanks to you, assholes. <laughs> I've brought medicine. What's happening? Oh, that's right. That's what we were doing. We brought medicine over here. That's why we went over we here. Oh, no. to this infection. town. Oh, because there are dead oh, people. Okay. So, so there's a plague going on. So, um, we we fixed the bridge, which we kind of told you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We we grabbed some medicine that the uh, the dude like taking care of the the bridge management. He he was like, "Can you bring this medicine to this town?" And we were like, "Yeah, sure." We got to this town and we found out there's a plague going. But what's actually happening is that the Hellions have corrupted this place. Oh, um, so the plague is the Hellion. Yes. Are the Hellions? And the, that's what it seems like when we got into. Town, we saw a like a Hellion dog jump into a girl. Yeah, it kind of fucked up. Is that Edna talking? I don't like her voice. She's just kind of dry. And actually, at one point, like, actually, what was it? There was a, a little mini cutscene where she was like, "What's your name, Blue Tart?" Or like, basically, like, "What's your name, Blue?" Oh, he's like, "It's none of your business." She kind of reminds me then of what's her name from uh, uh, Avatar. Um, the blind earthbender. Oh, Toph? Toph. Yes. Toph. Yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, I totally see that now. Wow, that's a strangely good comparison because yeah. she, it, her personality oh, is almost. Who comes back and makes <laughs> good comparisons? This guy. Ooh. And she's also the equivalent of like an earthbender because she's an yeah, earth seraphim. Yeah, she's an earth seraphim. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. What was, what was with the. Ooh. Does that mean that people of the earth are just like assholes? You know, or are they just sense. like. They're, they're just more realistic. <laughs> that, that little. Yeah, maybe not. Like at, that was funny. At one point he was flying and then he went... Like he was trying to go faster but he didn't end up going any faster. It's, it's like when you're in the pool and you're like trying to like dart at someone. Yeah, like right. You're trying to drag it you. yourself like... <laughs> and then you just don't, do don't move anywhere. Ooh, what was that? That flash happens whenever you're like in like a Hellion's domain, sure. sort of. Oh, right. I, I think that's, that's generally when I see them using it. Are we going to fight this dragon? Uh, well, I mean, they're basically like, we should do something about this. And then the dragon showed up. Oh, shit. I forget what actually is going to take place here. Death of us. That's the end of the game, guys. Sorry. So it's a, it's a drake. It's a younger form of a dragon. So it should I don't, be easier. I don't think we're going to fight it, though. Okay, Not right now. Anyway. Out with your bunnies. <laughs> oh, he's running around. <laughs> Wait, Every now and then the, the rabbits are just like, I gotta run, I gotta run, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Well, that, that was, was really super weird. We're in the middle of a conversation, we hear, <laughs> me and Tony went. I don't think the microphone picked it up, but yeah, it's just like suddenly a lot of cage rattling, and it's literally the bunny going, zoom, 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 zoom. And he's so close to the, the cage wall that he just like knocks into oh. it. Rabbits are weird animals, man. So at any point, will Mikleo hop back inside of uh, Surrey? Hop inside, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And none. yeah. Okay, well, he didn't hop back inside. The other two did. But oh, no. I don't know. Mickey does what he wants. He ain't your Pokemans. Well, I don't know. 
I don't know. Squirtle up in this bitch! <laughs> he is he is Squirtle. Well, we gotta do something. Are we, are we just playing like a weird version of Pokemon? We're like, gotta collect all the Seraphim? Yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Seraphim! I was gonna say Tales of Zestira. Zestira. Yeah. <laughs> you said Pokemon, though. Yeah, I did. I said Seraphim. Uh, because I was going from the source material. Duh. Yeah, but like, we're talking about Seraphim. Get your pop culture mashup bullshit Remember what together. I said before we even started recording? That I'm shops are gonna, just going to start happening? I'm, I'm Kuja, that's all I heard. <laughs> I'm Kuja! I'm Kuja! That was, that was probably one of my favorite things that made it into the um, behind the cutscenes of the one that we released today. I yeah. think it's number three. Yeah, yeah number three. Um, <laughs> my forearms are awesome times two. What? Slow well, way to be like super like into yourself there. Oh, yes. Yeah, because so I do that all the time, right Tony. Mm. <laughs> mm, yeah. Ooh. Oh, we also we also have a wow, <laughs> motherfucker! Wow. I'm gonna kill you. All right, that's it. Did I hit your hand into you your hit face? My hand into my chin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I. I'm sorry. I meant to just do that. Hey, let, let, like, let's let's throw some strikes up here. This is strike one for Cujo. What? You're only you had like eighteen. You're only encouraging him to hit you more. I think. At strike three, three, I'm gonna wet Willie him. You're hearing this now. At strike three, oh, the wettest of Willies. Oh, and then the war the will begin. <laughs> will be. Gin. Bequeath Gin. unto you. You know, I would say I would try to defend you, Tony, but I gotta say you kind of had this coming. Well, what, William? I'm just saying, keep a strike count. <laughs> That's strike if, one. If he strikes you more than Ding. more than like two times, okay, I'll, I'll keep a count. All right, fair enough. Don't hit Tony. I will not. Hit Tony. <laughs> I will continue to torment him. Though. Don't do that. Oh, don't do it, man. Don't do it. That's almost as bad. That's almost as bad. So, so hey, pay, pay attention. Yeah, there's a the goddamn cutscene. We, we, hit, we, encount we, wow. we encountered this woman, and she was like, uh, or I think Saray was just like, hey, can I help you? And she's like, no, I'm fine. Leave me alone. I'm fine. I'm just bringing these books to a, my library or a library or something. The library. And we were like, well, that shit was fucked up. Why was she being so weird about it? Is she a hellion? Uh, no. But we're going to find out what she's up to because, like, we're going to let her get away with yeah, this right, bullshit. Like bullshit. Oh, now McLeo's going back inside. Mm, McLeo, I want you inside of me. I knew that was coming sooner. Or later. Inside of me. I think it might have already McLeo's come up at least once. Wait. Inside uh, me. I already am going the wrong way. Is Mikleo inside Tony, of you? That was the best, like, glance. I look over confused and Tony's like... Oh yeah, we also should be, like, burning these Hellion wolf heads. Oh, you know, as I was going through uh, re-watching what we've put up on YouTube so far, I noticed that, like, I was like, oh yeah, we don't have, like, a ring of power, but we don't have a ring, we have this super crazy flame thing. Do you know how in the other Tales games, you get, like, a ring or something? Well, that was kind of yeah. how it was in, um... What should we call it? In a Symphonia. Well, you Symphonia had the, the ring. I guess it was. And the ring, ring transformed was, was, into was, different was... elements. Yeah. Was it a ring? It was a ring. I thought it was like just nope. a, a, a nope. sphere that nope. was made out of. Maybe nope. I'm thinking nope. of like Legendia nope. or something. I don't yep. know. It's fucking. I decided to jump on that. Anyway. <laughs> nope. 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 Oh, oh, we should read this. All right, Tony, you want to take this one? Yeah. Sure. She loved books so much. Maybe a little bit faster. Oh. Oh sure. Oh, okay, so she... this graveyard is where my daughter is laid to rest. No, no. Chris said go faster. Oh, she, Tony. She was a bookworm too. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so we followed her here, and she apparently brought the books to her daughter's grave. That's super depressing. Yeah, except I don't believe that shit. Okay, you're very un. You very. You're very untrusting. I mean, apparently neither does Saray, because he's all like... I to trust her, but something's wrong. Okay, Mikleo doesn't trust her. Yeah, of course Mikleo doesn't. Because Mikleo's a straight-up douchebag. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. He is strangely, like, almost jaded to the world, he despite really being, like, a seraph, like, a young seraphim that doesn't have any other experiences that Saray doesn't have. I feel like he, he has to be the <laughs> antithesis to Saray, though. That is pretty yeah, horrible. Yeah, it's like, look at me hide in between these open bars. But with it, my super bright cloak. And my feathers. I mean, it worked, didn't it? Don't right? Don't yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. I like his grin. <sighs> it looks like she's holding nothing right now from that one angle. Kojo. It's like he's trying to do my Wolverine face. He, he is doing your Wolverine so face. Wolverine? Wolverine? 
Wolverine. Wolverine. It was always just my Let's go, Bob. Bob, I, I do <laughs> find myself saying <laughs> the word Bob when I text before she died. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, Bob. Bob. Yeah. It reminds me of, of a random, like, people. silly video that I wanted to do. Because we, have, we haven't we have actually used the Wolverine. I don't think we've put the Wolverine mask on, yeah, on camera yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we started yeah. the series oh, did off we? with oh, was me and the Wolverine oh, mask. Oh, you were the one wearing that. Yeah. I want to go around with that mask on to random strangers and be like, Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob. Bub. <laughs> uh, fuck you. Uh, are you beer? Oh, are you beer? <laughs> I always knew someday this was bound to happen. So we basically called her out on her shit. The malevolence is fading. But did she have malevolence and now it's going away? She had malevolence in her. And basically what happened was we confronted her trying to sell those books in the black market and we were like um Yo, no be cool you're not gonna do that and then she was like well what's gonna happen to me and you're like well we have to arrest you and then Miklio was like the malevolence is fading it's like she wanted to get caught it's true because she didn't actually want to sell those books no she wanted she wanted someone to stop them yeah and but like she did it because it was necessary for her survival but at the same time she still didn't want to do it and she was probably conflicted about it it was actually a, a very interesting like good human very human kind of yeah moment. very very human thing it's like you know when something bad's happening and you're praying that even if it means something bad for you you'll still get caught in the act so that it's not all the way on seen through yeah it's it's interesting it's it's one of those little moments in this game that, like, kind of redeems some of the bad writing. Because there's a lot of bad writing, but then there, there are those is. moments that are like, actually, that's really, really that good. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. I just find it really funny that you guys were talking about something that's redeeming the writing, and then we hear, Is that a monolith? And we're, like, several hours into the game. Well, the reason that happens is to give the player an audio cue that Saray has detected a, uh... <laughs> Uh, what should I call it? Oh, look, another. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. I can sense the like, ancient I, tongue. Mm -hmm. I guess I understand, but you could use strategic. It's his. What's it called? It's like wonderment detection or whatever mm. it is. Can but, you go inside that house? We should try and break in that house. I think. We Kick can down the door. Go in. I don't think there's why, anything in there. Why oh do you no, want we can't us go. to break into this person's house. What do you think this is? Some kind of adventure RPG? <gasps> That we could just go in people's houses and take their stuff. This ain't no Fallout. <laughs> no, it's more like this ain't Zelda. There ain't no Bethesda up in this shit. Well, Fall oh, I guess you can do that in Fallout, but usually it's like you have to make friends with them before you can just steal all their shit. Well, no, you can steal all their shit, but well, then, yeah, then, then you, you have, have to kill them. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say they're How's illegal. Your place going, Tony? <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't do that. I'm just saying one time I stole... I don't in do a it. Previous I'm just an advocate game. for doing it. <laughs> I mean, we all know everyone does that, right? Well, because right? one time I didn't realize it. I, it was either um, Oblivion or it was Fallout 3 or something. I was in red, and I'm like, oh, let me see what happens when I take this. And they get real pissed, and they start opening a fire. Yep. <gasps> that's, that's, I mean, that's how you find out. So you gotta kill them. All right, where am I going? Oh, I gotta go. Oh, I was sort of over there. Oh, there was another path I didn't Ugh. really see. We should go find that Drake. You should go find that Drake. And no, we should no, find no, it and kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna find the Drake. I'm just gonna find the Drake. Actually, the Drake took we'll off and is just flying around. I don't think we're we see it right now. But how about those leaf textures? Let's go right yeah, those Drake. leaf textures. I just saw yeah, right this, there. That X. trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's like X marks the spot. That's you know, the spot. There are times where take a note from Barrett Cook. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's like, there are times where, like, these Sorry, trees right. up close are actually okay, <laughs> right? But, like, I think maybe when they made this, they didn't expect players to really look up this far. <laughs> don't look up, don't look up, maybe. don't look up, I mean, this, well, that's a pretty common thing, right? Like, but here's the thing. If their first, if your first, like, <laughs> peaceful settlement is that crazy thing in the clouds, you're gonna want to look at everything, because the backgrounds look beautiful, the map looks beautiful, everything looks really cool. So, having that be like, oh, well, they're not going to look up. It'll be fine. Like, I guess that's kind of fair. If I that were the case, you wouldn't have been in. able to make the camera go up as far. I think if the the scenery was continuously like, just, like, absolutely stunning, then it would be expected for that to be behavior. But I think after we leave the mountains, the game stops being less, I don't know, pretty, landscape beautiful. 
Like it still is, it looks good, and I actually still really like the art and the style. Oh, here's a model. But it's it's not like oh, it's so beautiful. Like, oh. It could be hiding anywhere. Maybe that's just me. That's fair. So now Alicia can armatize at some point, right? Uh, I don't know. Wait, no, she can armatize. Spoiler. Wow. Can she? I thought she already could. No. She can't armatize with Saray because well, she's not Saray. Saray. I, just, I was asking if Alicia in general could I thought she could. Yeah. I thought she could armatize as soon as she became our, um... Sublord or whatever? Sub... Uh, Have you guys tried it in any of your episodes since that's happened? I don't remember. I don't think so. I honestly don't remember. But anyway, I think that's all we have for this episode. Yeah. So, uh... We'll uh, prepare yeah. some apple gel. <laughs> some the apple gel. Ever. So I guess. Oh we're, shit! What's I our question? I guess we're done. What's our question of the day? Um, what do you think about the scenery of the game and kind of how it's transformed as we've played it? Because like, when we first started, we saw a lot of shit like this, where it's just like geometry clipping through geometry with like no integration. Um, but I think as we've been playing, we've actually seen it integrate a little bit better. Like, the lighting kind of makes it hard to see that this is just, like, clipping through each other. And, like, some of these textures are a little bit better together. Um, but overall, I feel like the game is less, like, rich in beautiful scenery. Mm. Um, so I, I guess the question is, do you think that the art has improved with time? Or do you think that it hasn't s met the standard that it set at the beginning? I like that I like question. That question a lot. Cool. Well then, should we just use that? Yeah, yeah let's just use that. that. All right. That's, that's the it. question of the day. Question of the day. It's the last thing we said. <laughs> we will be posting that in the comments section below. Go ahead and post your answer to the question. And like, comment, subscribe, share us on Facebook. <laughs> thanks for that, Tony. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 okay, let, let, let me do Chris here. Uh, thanks for, for thanks for uh, yep watching and reply yep bye okay. I never said I was good at this. I never said that either.